We begin tonight only on News 15 with what could be major effort to address water woes in the city of Opelousas. As we first reported to you last night here on News 15, the city must make upgrades or risk a complete system failure that will leave residents without water altogether. The city is seeking millions of state and federal dollars to undertake a massive and some say long overdue overhaul of the city's water system. News 15's Jeff Horchak joins us live in studio with the details tonight you'll see only on News 15. Jeff? Well, Jim and Marcel, we spoke exclusively with the mayor of Opelousas about the plan to keep the water flowing following what some say is years of infrastructure neglect. That's 750,000 gallons and that will... A dire warning delivered to a special meeting of the Opelousas City Council. A consultant telling city leaders they must find a way to make upgrades to their troubled water system soon or risk a complete failure that would leave residents without water altogether. Water system is not going to shut down. Okay, I'm going to put it that way right there. I know it was spoken about, but we wanted the public to know if we don't address what we're facing, yes, it could be shut down by the state, but we're going to do everything that we can to prevent that. As News 15 has documented, Opelousas residents have long complained about their city's antiquated water system, where leaks under streets cause potholes and brown water from their faucets. Opelousas has also received a failing grade from the state because of deficiencies with infrastructure and federal water quality violations. Opelousas for years has lacked the money and the manpower to overhaul their entire water system. But now, in the wake of the consultant's warning, the mayor tells News 15 that the city is applying for a low interest loan in order to pay for the fixes. We're applying for 25 million with the total amount of this project could be somewhere between 25 million and 40 million dollars. That's just for the water plant. Now the mayor says that residents will need to have patience during this process to give you a sense of how outdated the water system is right now. Even if upgrades started now, it would likely take three to four years until about 2028 to fully complete the work. Reporting live in studio for News 15, I'm Jeff Horchak.